Caitlin! <laughs> Hey everybody! This whole YouTube in the car is not working out as planned. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our bump a ba YouTube Monday. Why did you do that? Q and A Starbucks edition. Paint drink coming in clutch. Cheers. You fucked up that cheers. Mm. Anyways, here's what we're eating. Who puts this lighting though? Damn it's that lighting! Too looks fucking dark though. So dark on your face though. <laughs> about because you fucked it up on where it's sitting. <laughs> Okay. You good? Okay. We got our greasy bags full of... <laughs> we got a blueberry... You need to quit! We got... <laughs> Cut it out. We got a blueberry scone. That's Lawrence. But we got... We blew up the Starbucks drive-thru near our, my apartment. Yes, we got all of us to the drive-thru. Don't judge. We got four petite vanilla Why do you have scones. to say that? Because we're reading the sticker. I ate three of them. <laughs> There is four. I ate three though. No tiny. We have a lemon love kick. Thank cut, you. Cut. <laughs> and we have a empty bag with a cheese sandwich that I already ate. I demolished it. Thank you. You said we have a flat bag with nothing in it. And voila. Lord. <laughs> this teddy bear. Take it Let's away. Let's get it back in there though. <laughs> okay. Today we'll be answering. <laughs> These little rude boys questions. Freaking rude boys. Little rude boys. Rihanna would not like that. So we have a whopping eight questions to answer. Oh, no, wow. People are not responding a lot of questions because they're probably working right now, but. Or, you know. Living their lives. Living their lives, <laughs> which I understand. Um, but the questions that we did receive, we'll answer those. So. That looks like a lot more than eight questions to me. It's a lot of just side comments, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's answer this together. What is your secret to keeping in shape? I don't think I'm in shape. I'm not in shape. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, but I know what they're saying. These past couple months since the new year, I never made I never make like a um, New Year's resolution because I feel like it's just puts pressure on you and anxiety for no reason. So I do like really vague ones like exercise more and make healthier eating choices so I've been doing that you do so I've been working out a lot more lately um it just takes motivation and you know you just have to get in the habit of doing it mm -hmm. it's that motivation factor that to get there the first couple times it's really hard but once you get in the habit I feel like if you're gonna balance it out if you eat bad you just work out a lot if mm -hmm. you eat healthy you don't have as much pressure to work out all the time sure just balance it out it's a hard balance though, especially with these mm -hmm. I'm sorry but it's true uh, and our yeah. dragon fruit drinks. Wait. These are... Bitch, these oh, are pink drink. my bad. Pink drink. Coconut juice. I mean... Coconut milk. Coconut bitch. milk with juice. I don't know. It's really good. I don't even... It, it's just called a pink drink. They'll know what you, what you mean. Are we single? I'm not. By choice. Yes. Disclosure. By choice. Because I'm tired of these fuck boys out here. Out here. Out here. Get out here. No, but... Um, Get out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's strictly by choice. And I also am just really picky, so... That's why I'm single and not booed up. I've been taken for over four years. You like, had to say that. It's not that I'm like trying to be like that. I'm to the point now where I'm ready to like get married. Settle the fuck down. Yeah. I just kind of okay. settle down. You I don't know if we're allowed to. Um. Yeah, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for that ring. I'm waiting for the next step of commitment. So yeah. we'll see. Hopefully this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Settle, down, settle down over there, blueberry scone girl. <laughs> That's so good. Um, I'm debating on whether I should eat this lemon love cake in front of y'all. Eat it. Don't judge us, okay? Hmm. Don't you hate people have that, that eating noise when they eat food? Like, yeah. That cringy noise. All right. The one you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your weight and hip size? One. Not disclosing my weight. Whoa. Ah. Like, you, ah. guys, you guys have no chill. <laughs> Hip size. I don't measure my hips like that, so I could not tell you that. Um, Skip. No. <laughs> not applicable. <laughs> In a. I can see you. <laughs> Is this? Oh shit! I need a fill, and y'all do not judge. Is this? Um. Is this Blue's Clues? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> what do they put in these? <laughs> okay. Um, I can't with you. What's the most exotic or unusual 
to you could be common in its own culture food you've ever eaten what is a good or bad experience that's a you know what i'm really glad they actually actually asked like a di Ooh. like a diverse question uh, uh, an in-depth question that's not only related to um how big are your boobs titties nipples yeah thank you <laughs> thank you what follower mm. yeah they, they deserve a shout out big and small are subjective i appreciate him He's big the and truth. Small are, at big and small are subjective we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. um, You're the most truth. diverse food, Lauren. I'm gonna go with <laughs> what? Honestly, the Indian, the Indian place that we eat at. We go to what Indian cuisine? It's a buffet, and it's I've never seen an Indian buffet first. Normally, when you think buffet, you think oh, it's been sitting there for hours. No, it's really good food. Like a one, they just need to refill it more. <laughs> but their food is so good. I don't even know what I'm eating, but. And I'm not even an Indian fan. That's what's so wild about it. But their food is very good. Like she's not a fan of the Indian. Indian Indian culture food. cuisine cuisine really because curry has just messed up my stomach for a long time so I avoid anything with that but their food is I would say good. the same thing I also have Thai but I don't have it a lot Thai I'm not a fan of I love coconut soup though and that sounds really odd but it's so bomb <clears throat> it's so good we've been we be, we ate Thai when we were younger when Dad would take us Thai is different I would say Thai and Indian food mm -hmm. very different yeah usually I don't really eat off the wall stuff though so. I would go with that. Yeah, we're basic ass bitches. <laughs> Next. But I do like unusual <laughs> food. Um, how'd you get started into modeling? We both have helped each other. Um, truly, <clears throat> truly. Lauren helped me last year when I left my corporate job and was trying to figure out what to do with my life. Still am. No, we Guilty. are all trying to figure ourselves Guilty. out. Guilty. Um, I've been doing it since middle school. Like I was, I built my following up, not even trying to. It just kind of happened. And then I feel like with most people, it just kind of happens. You're not, tr no one's trying to say oh well I want to be famous or I want to be I'm not saying I'm famous but no one as no one says I'm gonna have followers one day it just kind of naturally happens and, and we do not pay for followers that is no crazy because if you pay for followers they'll eventually probably delete your account or they'll take your ghost followers away or the followers that you pay for to be get honest rid of you. that is so pathetic to me just live mm -hmm. your life and post what you do mm -hmm. um yeah so we really help each other we work with a lot of the same companies mm -hmm. too um, a lot of companies and a lot of them have asked like do I buy the clothes I don't buy the clothes y'all they are supplied to me and I just promote them but Thank I'm very grateful for it well no you do you buy from Yoins and Fashion Nova I don't buy Yoins I buy Fashion Nova okay so there are some companies that well we no they're saying the clothes that I, I, I model though do I pay for them no I don't but the clothes some no. of the clothes I just buy on my own I if them. we promote it is usually um, product given to us in exchange for promotion mm -hmm. but if it's a company that we enjoy working for that's why there's repeat posts because we like their clothes mm -hmm. and who wouldn't want free clothes mm -hmm. but we get to handpick the items that we receive so yes we do love the products that we promote we wouldn't promote them if we didn't mm -hmm. Next, that wasn't even the question, but <laughs> <laughs> but we we've helped each other. Like, um, I mean, that's that's what you do: women helping women. Sisters Who doesn't like clothes? Yeah, exactly. Um, what's your favorite ride at Carowinds? Personally, ooh, that's never, a good one. I've never been on a roller coaster. I'm too fr frightened to be honest. But I'll let her answer that. Honestly, um, I have season pass. Me and my boyfriend, we love to go to Scarewinds. Scarewinds is so much better. It's Lauren, the truth. you've been to Scarewinds. We went to Scarewinds last year. I went to Scarewinds. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't really do roller coasters anymore. It's been a couple years, but when I did go, Fury was so much fun. When I did go on them, my titties would be bouncing all over the place. I can't, girl. Like I was wearing sports bras there. Um, Fury was so much fun. Um, it's just so quick. It's over so quick because it's so fast. But Fury, definitely Fury. I feel like that's probably pretty calming because it's like the fastest roller coaster. Right. Um, <clears throat> first, you're very beautiful and wear that smile well. Second, what are some goals you have in life? That's very sweet. Thank you. Um, they said that to me because it's my post. Otherwise, um, what are some goals you have in life? Um, for me, I, one, I, because we love fashion so much, I could see us doing it together. But I want to have my own online boutique one day. And I'm speaking it into existence because I would love to have that. And I would do. That'd I would be do. Fun. Why just online though? Because having your own building is just a lot of work, and I feel like if you ever want to move, it'd just be a lot of responsibility. Yeah. At least well, starting out, I want an online boutique. Good point. Sense. Just because everything's geared towards online anyways these days. And it's easier. No one, not everyone wants to go out and shop in person. They want to go online. Or have to have staff to depend on. Yeah, and I feel like if I were to have my own clothes, I would do true to size for the most part for however <laughs> things would fit me normally. Because normally you go off of how you wear clothes. Mm -hmm. And I would make larger sizes. We live in a larger... Everyone's... 
I'm not a word that correctly. Society is not molded into one size, right? Well, it, <laughs> are you an author? Right. So like, <laughs> no. But, but honestly, speaking, our world's a, a made of bigger people now. The not average size in America for a woman is a size 14. Some people consider that plus size. It's not plus size. To me, it's not. It's very close to it, but just think about that. That's the average size. <laughs> like, people are not small like they were in the 1950s. Like, it's just a different time. And if you're smaller, good for you. You can't help that. But it's just like, don't knock people that are bigger than you. Would you, yeah, yeah. Would you sell all sizes or just plus size? Um, all, because I don't discriminate. And I feel like people discriminate against plus size. It's not right. Yeah. So I'd probably sell the smallest size to... Um, all the above. Yeah, I mean, men no or women, men and women, because cool. Fashion Nova's inspired me, and I would do sizes even bigger than them, just because why I not? just love their clothes, and I feel like why not go bigger? You know what I mean? It's just they're a great brand, so they've inspired me to to have that goal set for myself. How about you? Um, <laughs> goals. Mm. Mm. Anything related to fashion? Um, makeup, beauty, anything. Really. Makeup, beauty, all the above. Um, I would love to be a mom one day. Same. Have a family, be married, settle, do that whole settling down thing, um, and just live a happy, uh, abundant life. Have a beautiful family. Be close to my existing family. <clears throat> right. Um, that might not sound like goals, but to me, it that is, means though. a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When's your birthday? Mine's coming up. It's March 6th. I'm a Pisces. Mine's in November, uh, the end of November, the 29th. It's usually Black Friday or right around Thanksgiving. Um, She's a Sagittarius. I'm a Sag. Um, okay, so this is a mud name, but we, we've kind of like snapped. By the way, disclaimer, we're totally in my car if you haven't noticed. Totally. Obviously. This, this little thing. Obviously that dream catcher is... Catch my dreams. Not in front of the iPad. Um, <clears throat> so you're welcome. Let's see. Okay, I feel like I've answered a lot of these. Um, what's your waistline size? It's so small, and your cup size. Hope that I'm not stepping over the boundaries. So, I'm not gonna just put my bra size out there on the internet, but um, clearly we're not small chested. Um, we just have more meat, and then waistline. I don't know that. My waist size. I don't either. I don't we know, know our jean size, but. I ain't telling you that. No. We don't, like, measure like that. Yeah, um, <clears throat> how tall are we? So, I'm 5'9 without heels. I'm 5'6. I'm a tall bitch. No, but I don't think it's that tall, though. Like, uh, yeah, I'm taller than the average, but it's not that tall. Like, jeez, guys. What makes women tick? It depends a lot on the situation. Of things depends. That's a broad question, because... Everyone has things that make them mad. I mean, that, that could be anything, really. Yeah. I don't like fuck boys. That makes me, that ticks me off. Um, they're time wasters, and they end up doing nothing for you, so. Yeah. I get upset when people, like, out in this world, like, just when you're out running errands or in society, just people are not nice. Mm -hmm. People that can't drive, people that are just rude for no reason, like, have some self decency, have, have that human to human interaction and be nice for once. Yeah. Be cautious. Um, I think that's, that's, yeah, that's wrapping up all the questions. Um, again, we didn't get a crazy list of them because people are probably working or living their life, which I understand. Mm -hmm. So that's like a, kind of like a part one, I guess you could say. Down the road, we'll have another part to that because mm -hmm. people want to know more. Because um, it's Friday night and we want to go have fun. Want to get litty. No. We're going to probably order some alcohol. No, <laughs> no literally, pina, pina colada. Mm -hmm. We've been obsessed with this local Mexican joint lately. Uh, we love Mexican food. We're always eating it. Our family is. And uh, we have been going hard on their... Hard in the paint. Margaronas, margaritas, and pina coladas. And when I say... They have like, a special it's a Mexican and I'm joint. Going. Because it's like National Margarita Day. Today or tomorrow or something. It's tomorrow. That, that's why? That's why. Their drinks <sighs> are like... Are huge. It is like... I mean, you couldn't ask for better. It's awesome. But on that note, y'all, we love y'all, and we do appreciate y'all. Thank you for the support that you have shown us. We are obviously not very consistent. I know that's very frustrating. We're trying to become more consistent. We have very different schedules. So, yeah, over time, we're going to um, start doing a video a week on a certain day. Yeah. Or at least once each week. 
Um, so stay tuned for that. And again, our YouTube channels are, are in our links in our bios on Instagram. Um, and our Instagrams are in our bio on here. Yes. <clears throat> so just like and subscribe. Um, and you can join our little family. Our little... We didn't have a name for our followers on here. I know. We need an intro. We're still like really new to this whole scene. We don't know what we're doing exactly. So if you guys have ideas or want to do anything for us and shoot it our way, let us know. Yeah. We'd appreciate that. On that note, have a great weekend. All right. Bye, y'all.